Hello and welcome. I have been reminded of students wanting to know what is the difference between a email writing, a letter writing, a letter of an irate customer, customer service, memo writing. I think let us look at all of these. But to begin with, let's concentrate one by one and think of what is memo writing. Memo is something which is a short form of memorandum. So let's understand what is memorandum writing or memo writing. So guide to memo writing and tips with example, of course. A memo or a memorandum is a written document businesses use to communicate an announcement or notification. While memos were once the primary form of written internal communication in a business, they are now commonly sent in the form of an email. In this particular shoot, we learn more about how to write a memo with tips you can use to ensure your memos are clear, concise and effective. So let's begin by understanding what is a memo. A memo is a short message that's typically used to communicate official business policies and procedures within a company. Memos are usually meant as a mass communication to all members of an organization rather than a one-on-one -on -one personal message. Why? When you should write a memo? For the most part, the purpose of writing a memo is to inform. However, memos can occasionally include a call to action or a persuasive element. A few examples of when a memo might be useful includes informing employees about company policy or process changes, providing an update on key projects or goals, when making an announcement about the company such as an employee promotion or new hire, to remind employees about a task that needs to be completed, to make a request of all employees when you are communicating a message that employees will refer to more than once, such as a detailed proposal or recommendation. Memos are also an efficient way to communicate brief but important messages to a wide audience within the business. This can include product changes, meeting schedules, procedure changes, policy additions, summaries of agreement terms and reminders. Additionally, you can send a memo when you want your audience to print or save the information contained in the message in some way for later reference. Types of memos There are a few main types of memos you can write depending on your needs and the content of your message. Below are some of the most common types of memos that you can possibly see. Number one, report memo. Typically sent it to give an update or progress report. Number two, request memo. Submit it as a request to a certain person or team. Persuasive language works well in request memos. Confirmation memo number three. Written to confirm an agreement made between two parties. Suggestive memo number four. Usually sent by management requesting input from employees on how to solve a certain problem. How to write a memo? While each memo should be written to address its unique needs, there are a few steps you can follow to create a clear, highly readable document. Like many other professional business documents, memos will include an introduction, body and conclusion. Start with a header that clearly indicates that the communication is a memorandum. The intended recipients, the sender, the date and the subject gets included in the header part of your memo. Write an introduction that uses a declarative sentence to announce the main topic of the memo. Number third, include a body paragraph. 
with discussion points that elaborate or list the main ideas associated with the memo's topic to make your memo easier to read write in short paragraphs and break the information into smaller more manageable chunks since the recipients will likely be scanning the memo you should also use subheadings and bulleted lists when possible conclude your memo with an remaining information following the body paragraph this is a summary of the memo and should clearly inform the reader of any actions required close with your name email address phone number in case anyone needs to contact you back if your intended recipients will need to refer to other information such as a graph image or chart you can include it as an attachment below the end of your memo tips for writing an effective memo here are several tips to consider improve your memo writing number 1 always consider your audience when writing a memo while an acronym or abbreviation might be commonly used in the marketing department it could be unknown to the it department if you are writing a memo for the entire company use clear and concise language accessible to everyone number 2 use professional language and tone when sending a company wide you are speaking for the organization use business formal language with easy to understand words and concepts number 3 write a subject that is straightforward and clear for example if you need to send out a memo announcing the observance of a holiday include the name and date of the holiday in your subject line send your memo at least a week before the event or due date so people have time to adjust their plans accordingly memo template the following is a sample memo you can use as a guide for your next document memorandum 2 names of intended recipient from your name title date month day year that should be the sequence followed subject line subject of the memo whatever the subject you want but do not exceed more than 3 to 4 words mind my mind my suggestion that it should be clear concise and keywords to be put into the subject line i repeat not more than 3 to 4 words now begin the memo with a sentence that describes the reason you are writing it should be very short about one or two sentences in length and mind you in case if you can bring it to 3 to 4 words i think that is more than enough because writing sentence or sentences may still have some kind of a confusion created so the introduction should clearly state the purpose of the memo so the reader immediately understands what it is about now if the memo is meant to respond or follow up on a certain topic or situation include that in the first paragraph itself now bullet point to list important information bullet point to list important information bullet point to list important information always that's the key to writing a memo now use the last few sentences to conclude your memo make sure you include a request for any action you need people to take after reading your memo thank you is the last thing that you would do of course before adding thank you below should be your name your email address your phone number and mind you the last thing that you can do and you should possibly give it a second thought serious second thought before actually sit, you know pushing the sending button is the attachment now the attachment can be done in the first phase itself while you are writing and concentrating on your memo body 
or before sending that pushing the sending send button you should consider that attachment is also a part of your essential memo writing so attachment of image a graph or a chart that you intended recipients might need should be also necessarily be taken care of very important now memos are an important form of communication within a company now that you understand the memorandum definition and you have some clear tips on how to write a memo you can create memos that will effectively communicate what you need people to know i'm very sure this is a very clear cut explanation on how to write a memo and you have understood it if yes then have few practices for yourself at one time you will become a master of this who knows that writing is very important in professional existence so you should pick up the professional way of writing memos as well best wishes and thank you